Are you struggling with something in life and looking for ways to heal? My name is Santosha and my goal is to help you find those ways. Welcome to my podcast, Become the Healer. Together we'll explore an integrated healing approach and journey through ancient healing modalities, mindset shifts, scientific evidence, inspiring stories and practical tips, empowering us to heal our lives get unstuck from toxic patterns and expand consciousness, raising our energetic vibration and healing the planet from within. Hello and welcome to another episode of Become the Healer. My name is Santosha and I am super excited to have you here on this journey with me as we explore the fascinating field of German new medicine. Last year, I stumbled upon this incredible body of knowledge that just blew my mind because it proved that a psychic shock trauma, that our emotions, unresolved emotions, it proved it with brain scans, that unresolved emotions cause illness and disease. But this healing modality took it one step further and didn't even use the term illness and disease, but instead calls it a significant biological program. It suggests that due to the psychic shock traumas, this unresolved emotion, that the body then puts in a program of healing. And when we explore our body, our health, from this perspective, it really empowers our minds to like, wow. Okay. So we just need to work with our emotions in order to heal cancer. Like, is this possible? Is it true? How can it be done? I want to explore this on so many different levels and I want to see it work. So let's, let's look at German new medicine, but I don't want to only explore German new medicine because there's a lot of controversy around it. So I'm going to link it to other healing modalities that have the same approach that believe our emotions cause physical ailments. Now it's essential. It's essential, my friends, to understand that healing is an integrated healing approach, integrated healing. So one of the primary reasons why I'm so enthusiastic about sharing this information with you is because it has the power to create a profound mindset shift. So in order to become the healer, we need to work with our minds to convince our minds that healing is possible. Our minds play a pivotal role in our healing journeys and often hinder us from progressing further, from doing a deep dive into our healing. We have so much resistance in our minds, right? We doubt, we ridicule, we judge, we have self-criticism, we even criticize ourselves, we're even trying to heal. So let's first be convince our minds that healing is possible before diving into the how-to aspects of healing, the tools and techniques I want to give you in the upcoming podcast. It's important to first convince our minds that healing is indeed possible. <laughs> I don't know if you're healing, hearing the noises outside of, you know, the roosters and the cows. It's early morning here in India. I'm recording from Jiravanamalai in Tamil Nadu, where I've lived for nearly two years. It's definitely a year and a half. Um, So around me, I can hear the roosters and and the shed next door, the cow shed that's right next to my house. The man there is getting water for the cows. I can hear all these interesting noises around me. That's just where I'm recording right now, right? I don't have my own recording studio. I don't have a quiet room. I'm recording from India. I am so dedicated to sharing this knowledge with you. (laughs) I'm just doing it. (laughs) Um, Okay, so German New Medicine is an alternative approach that suggests, and in my mind, it has proven the link between psychic shock traumas and the onset of illness and disease. It was developed by Dr. Hammer in the 1980s 
and his theory proposes that unresolved emotional conflicts can disrupt the body's natural healing process, which leads to various health problems. Yeah, okay. He faced numerous challenges and controversies trying to put this theory out there. The scientific community did not support his work. So, as a result, he encountered significant oppositions, including legal actions, professional ostracism, and there's even rumors that he received death threats from some people who disagreed with his theories, like were really strongly against what what he was trying to do, like his work. He had a lot of problems, but he also did over... 1,000 brain scans to prove his work. This is the information I found on the internet. So please feel free to do the research yourself. And in fact, on my blog post page on my website, I will even put a link there where you can download in various languages his work. German New Medicine. People are really passionate about putting this knowledge out there in the world because it does create this mindset shift towards healing. Yeah. Um, Okay. So according to German New Medicine, every illness or disease is believed to have a precise psychological cause, often stemming from a specific traumatic event or emotional shock. So when I was working with my clients specifically, my aim was to work with their mind first. We would discuss the different aspects of their problem, their physical, mental, emotional, or spiritual problem. And I would seek to find that unresolved emotion or that trauma that was stopping them from healing, right? And then, of course, we went into the energy healing work, which is something I'd like to teach you as we progress in this journey together on my podcast, right? I would like to share with you everything I know about how you can become the healer of your life. So Dr. Hammer, he used brain scans to study the connection between these conflict shocks and their manifestation in specific areas of the body. Through his extensive research, he conducted thousands of brain scans and made a lot of insightful observations. He documented the whole thing. For instance, as an example, he found that conflicts related to abandonment or separation often resulted in brain activity changes in the cerebral cortex. And corresponding symptoms were found in the skin, in a person's skin. So therefore, abandonment or separation issues are skin issues, right? If you have skin problems, perhaps like eczema, you can start to look at and research and try to discover where do you feel abandonment issues or separation conflicts, yeah? Now, similarly, conflicts involving self-devaluation were linked to brain changes in the kidney area and subsequent kidney-related health issues. Conflicts involving, I'm going to say this again just to make sure you got it, Conflicts involving self-devaluation were related to the kidneys. Self-devaluation means put down criticism from other people. You know, this is related to self, like to narcissism. When we're in a narcissistic relationship, narcissistic people constantly gaslight us into feeling less than. This is self-devaluation, like devaluating the self is being devalued, unworthy, feeling unworthy. And if those issues are unresolved, they show up in kidney-related issues. He's proven this with brain scans. I find this absolutely fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. Okay, now, these, these shocks are psychic shock traumas. 
he created five biological laws. Dr. Hammer created five bi biological laws that were corresponding to different stages of the disease process, right? So if your body is indeed having skin issues or kidney problems or things like cancer or rheumatoid arthritis or anything like this, um, this is how it works, okay? So the first law suggests that every disease originates as a result of a significant emotional shock or trauma experienced by an individual, by us, right? Every disease. This shock disrupts the psyche and triggers a corresponding physical response in the body. Okay, so, whoa, we're in shock, our mind is in shock, our body is in shock, whatever it is, it can be anything, it can be something that you didn't expect, um, like someone suddenly berating you, criticizing you, and it came out of the blue, it's perhaps your boss or someone you just fell in love with, and suddenly they're criticizing you, you're in shock, this is a mild shock. What about finding out that your husband had an affair, or your wife had an affair? There's a shock again. Or that you suddenly have to move house and you have no idea where you're going to go. There's a lot of confusion around this. This is creating this traumatic experience, right? You know, from this healing perspective, we're looking at it from this perspective of how these shocks create emotional response in our body, in our psyche, our brain which creates a physical response in the body. This makes sense, right? We're talking about, I mean, we have all the knowledge and scientific evidence that chronic stress creates problems in our physical body. We have lower immunity, digestion issues, headaches, migraines. We have emotional problems, such as anxiety and depression, chronic stress. All right, chronic stress is similar to this, this shock stage, right? This shock state, this trauma, because your body is going through it over a long period of time. So it's proven in science, and that's accepted knowledge in science, right? No one has tied this to German New Medicine yet. I don't know why. So far, there's just a lot of controversy around German New Medicine, but we can see in science, when we look at chronic stress, there's tons of evidence on it, and it's been accepted. So German New Medicine is saying the same thing and proven it with brain scans, yet it's not accepted in society. We haven't linked this to healing our bodies yet, and I don't know why. That's all like, whoa, I really got to share this with people. Okay. So the first law, first biological law, so justice connection. The second law proposes that after the initial shock, the body enters into a survival phase characterized by specific biological processes. Now, these processes are seen as an inherent par part of the body's attempt to adapt and cope with the emotional conflict. They refer to this as significant biological program. Program. Instead of calling it an illness or disease, they refer to it as the program. The program is the body's response to this emotional issue, right? So the body has these symptoms. And then during this healing phase, while this process is in place, symptoms might arise as part of a natural healing process. Now, Western medicine views these symptoms as illness and disease, labels them as illness and disease. Boy, have we got so many labels for them. But German New Medicine is suggesting it's just a natural self-healing process. These symptoms are viewed as meaningful biological responses aimed at resolving the underlying con emotional conflict now, in my mind, I don't understand how the biological symptoms that we experience, let's say we have sweating or vomiting or uh, cold, feeling cold, cold symptoms, uh, feeling like sickness, flu, having headaches, migraines. These are all symptoms of the healing phase, right? 
It's like the body is trying to heal the emotional conflict. I don't understand quite the connection between the two yet because I don't know how the body going through those symptoms is healing our emotions. But I do understand it from a meditation perspective because when I do yoga nidra or sit a long time in meditation, uh, moving the energy up through up and down through my spine, I suddenly get very hot, like heat. My skin, like I start to sweat just mildly, not big. And I know my body's releasing negative emotions. I know this. It happens in yoga nidra almost every time. And they say that um, in yoga nidra, the negative energy lifts up off you. So from a meditation perspective, I understand this. So we can tie it all in. I find it fascinating exploring it, right? <laughs> Absolutely fascinating. Okay. So the third biological law suggests that during the healing phase, symptoms might arise, right? The fourth law emphasizes the importance of understanding that diseases have a purpose, serving as an adaptive response to the psychological conflict. By acknowledging this purpose and addressing the emotional root cause, it is believed that healing can occur. Okay, so Dr. Hammer has five biological laws. Now, if you read them like on, on the PDF that you can download from their website, is very complicated. I was like, what? So I had to study it a lot in order for my mind to actually grasp the concept of it so I can share this knowledge from you to you, right? Um, for you so that you understand it from this healing perspective, right? Because we're looking at gaining this knowledge to become the healer, to become successful healers. To successful heal, we have to create this mindset shift. So the fourth law is recommending this mindset shift right? That understanding diseases have a purpose. Understanding that the diseases are just a program, a biological response. They don't even use the word disease or illness, right? They're referring as a program. It's just this response to psychological conflicts. <sighs> okay, so if at any point in time you have a psychic shock drama, like I recently did Probably two months ago now. Yes, I remember recording The Dark Night of Soul on September 3rd. You, if you haven't listened to that podcast yet, I recommend going and listening to that because I have the knowledge of German New Medicine in my mind as I'm processing this very difficult past life karma, right? And I'm starting to understand that if I remain in this psychic shock trauma with unresolved, unresolved that my body is going to get sick. And so I'm doing my best in that dark night of the soul where you get to witness my breakdown. Uh, yeah, it is absolutely amazing to have this knowledge of German new medicine. So by acknowledging, you know, that our emotional issues, the psychic shock traumas that we're going through can cause physical problems, we can then quickly seek to, okay, how can we resolve this? How can we disconnect from this issue? How can we move our lives on and, and create a state of this equanimity, this peace environment in our body so it doesn't get sick? Oh, that reminds me. You know, when I think about this over and over again, the Buddhists who talk about, you know, non-attachment and, and remaining in a state of peace and happiness, they have a secret. They, they, I put, I bet, and I'm going to find out through our podcast journey together. I'm going to find out. And I'm going to try and speak to these, to some Buddhists, someplace around the world. I'm going to travel to this place. I'm just making this oath to you now. <laughs> I'm going to speak to them and find out. I bet you they know that these negative emotions are causing health issues. I bet you they know. I think, wow, mind blowing because that's their practice. And I've never seen a sick Buddhist. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Anyways, that's, <laughs> I'm just pulling some random thought out of a hat right now. So please forgive me if you think I'm crazy. <laughs> I, I, I like to speculate and wonder what's possible. Okay. This is, this is why this mindset of discovery of, 
of curiosity has taken me this far to discover this much. So I want to keep going on this. And, I, and my goal is to travel the world and go to these places and share this knowledge with you in my podcast. Actually, I have some upcoming journey planned already, and I'm really excited to go there. But I know that I must get this podcast, the beginning section of this podcast recorded while I'm here in India because this is holding a sacred energy vibration for me right here. I'm, I'm in this mindset, like in this like discovery mindset. I've got all the time in the world to be explore this with you right now. So here we are. Okay. Now there was five biological laws. So just briefly summing them up before we get to the fifth one. First law, disease originates as a result of emotional shock, shock and trauma. Okay. Which triggers a response in the physical body. The second law, the body then enters a survival phase of programming to heal, to hold or to cope with the emotional conflict. All right. The third law is when it goes into healing because these are the symptoms we experience, the physical symptoms that are part of the natural healing process, right? Okay. The fourth law then says it's super important to understand that our symptoms have a purpose. They're part of the healing process. Hmm. Okay. And by addressing the emotional root cause, it is believed that healing can occur. This is what it states in German New Medicine. Now, the fifth law highlights the fact, well, fact or not, anyways, it highlights that once the emotional conflict is resolved, the body can return to its normal state of equilibrium and regain its health. Wow. right? Okay. Now there's another podcast I'm going to do on this topic. And just briefly, I want to tell you what's in my mind right now, because it just popped into my mind as I, as I was saying that sentence. There is a book that I've been reading that's from Aurobindo and the Mother, and it's called Integrated Healing. Integrative Healing. And she states, they state that it's necessary to maintain a state of equilibrium in the body to maintain health. The same thing that German New Medicine is saying that if we have psychic shock trauma, an unresolved issue, we must work to create that equilibrium in our body again to maintain our health. Let's tie all the different belief systems together, right? All right, I'm going to do another podcast on that one, but let's continue with German New Medicine. Um, while there may be, well, a lot of people believe, well, the scientific community believes that there is limited scientific evidence to support the theory of German New Medicine. But we can explore other healing modalities that also believe our emotions can contribute to our physical ailments. There's a lot of them. Okay. So, for example, traditional Chinese medicine, centuries old practice, provides valuable insights into this regard. According to this ancient system, specific emotions can have a detrimental impact on particular organs. They, they specify what negative emotion affects what organ. There's another podcast on this. So if you haven't listened to this podcast where I explore traditional Chinese medicine, go and listen to it after this one. First, first listen to this one in its entirety. <laughs> Don't just jump over there. <laughs> okay. So although different from German New Medicine, we can see that this observation aligns with the idea that emotional well-being plays a significant role in our overall health and influence the functioning of our organs. Okay, German New Medicine says the same thing, but a little bit different perspective, right? Okay, another ancient healing modality. Oh, another one. This one's 5,000 years old, originating in India. It, we have the watered down version practice of Ayurvedic medicine in the Western world. Please understand that it's way deeper than what you've ever experienced. It's a holistic system, 
holistic system that seeks to balance the mind, body, and spirit. According to this healing modality, emotional disturbances such as stress, anxiety, and anger disrupts the natural flow of energy in the body. Disrupts the natural flow of energy in the body. All right? And this this disruption leads to various health issues. Traditional Chinese medicine says the same thing. These negative emotions disrupts the natural flow of energy in the body. Now the word for energy, you might already know this, is qi in China, qi in Japanese, and prana in India. And it has different words for this energy in different cultures around the world. It seems to be common knowledge that emotions create changes in the energies of our body system causing health issues. Okay, now that to me is supporting German New Medicine theory right there, okay? But a more recent healing modality you might be familiar with is emotional freedom technique. It also emphasizes the connection between our emotions and overall health. It is based on the premise that unresolved emotional issues contribute to physical ailments and imbalances in the body. This technique uses tapping on specific acupressure points while focusing on emotional distress, which is believed to release the block energy. This is similar to emotion code, which is a newer healing modality again. And they're tapping on the governing meridian, swiping the governing meridian to release trapped emotions that are causing physical health issues. So why is it, can I say, that there's controversy around German new medicine? Why? Why are people not accepting this? when this knowledge is in so many different healing modalities around the world, but German New Medicine takes it to a whole new level and has proven with brain scans the corresponding organs according to the conflict. Now, I might argue this can differ according to the individual, but they have done a lot of brain scans. So, you know... Most importantly, what we're getting from this knowledge in this podcast today is that our emotions affect our health. Our unresolved, stuck emotions affect our health. So what do we need to do? We need to become more emotionally intelligent. And I'm going to teach you. I'm going to give you all the tools and techniques I know so you can learn how to work with your thoughts and emotions. But I want to go even deeper than the daily thoughts and emotions. You know, I want to go deeper into past trauma that you've had, family lineage, baggage, and burdens that you might be carrying, and even past life karma, traumas from past life you're carrying in your energetic energetic vibration. And in fact, I would, I'm planning with the support of divine guidance, with the divine infinite consciousness, to have a health retreat in the Greek islands for one month where a handful or maybe 10 people are coming to go through and learn all the techniques I have in person and see if we can heal their physical body, to see if we can heal their physical diseases and illnesses. And if you're interested in something like this, or you know of someone who might be interested in this, please get in contact with me. I would be so overjoyed, like tears are coming to my eyes when I think about this possibility. All the research, all the knowledge and experience that I have over my 24 years of exploring what's possible. You'll you'll hear in my upcoming podcast or my other podcast, the level of depth of knowledge I have. It would give me so much joy to put all this knowledge in one healing retreat and watch the effects. 
and see the outcomes? Can we heal things like cancer, rheumatoid arthritis? Can we heal things like cardiovascular issues? Can we heal emotional problems, mental problems, mental health issues? What is possible? Putting it all together. This is mind-blowing for me, absolutely mind-blowing. And I had no idea I was going to mention this in this podcast. I just thought we were exploring German new medicine. So it's obviously divinely guided that it's coming out and that's going to happen. It's just absolutely amazing. It's touching my heart. My whole body is feeling this. I can't name it. (laughs) I think it's gratitude, appreciation that I've worked so hard and I've went through so much drama in my own life and and then struggled to heal those issues over 24 years, 25 years, even further than that. And this is where it's taken me. And so I'm very grateful for you, my listeners, to listening to this podcast, to joining me on this journey so I can put this information out into the world. I'm going to need your support. I can't do it as an individual. I want to get this information out to the world on a bigger scale. I want to see what's possible. We can't prove anything, but I want to have fun in this journey, exploring the different healing modalities and see what's possible. Okay. So overall, we can see that German new medicine has contributed a lot to the world. Um, There's a lot of scientific jargon in the research papers, so I think that's why a lot of normal people can't access it. I found it very difficult to read. Um, But when I found the links, because I've been doing this for so long, when I found the links between German New Medicine, the evidence in chronic stress in science, and and, uh, traditional Chinese medicine, how it all supports the same concept, I was like, wow, look, seriously, mind-blowing, right? Okay, so... My goal with this podcast is to create a mindset shift within you so you can start to wonder and reflect on whether healing is possible, whether the techniques I'm going to share with you in the podcast are going to be helpful for you. Was I successful in creating that mindset shift for you? Did I make you wonder? I'm I'm hoping I did. And if I did, I'd like you to comment, please. I'd like you to comment on that light bulb moment that you experienced while listening to this podcast, wherever you feel like commenting, okay, anywhere, comment on my YouTube channel on a random video if you like, but more importantly, I think comment on the thread that's on my post on my website. So when people are listening to this podcast, they can be inspired by your light bulb moment. All right. I want everyone to comment and interact in my community. I want to make sure everyone is sharing their inspiration, their experiences, so we can inspire others, right? So please, if you did experience this light bulb moment that I did successfully create a mindset shift for you by sharing this knowledge from German New Medicine, please let me know and share it comments. Let's let others know. Let's get this ball rolling. I am super excited to be on this journey with you in my Become the Healer podcast. I'm sure you know by now, the name of my website is Healing the Planet from Within because I feel, ah, I wonder and I imagine if everyone around the world had this knowledge and put the practices in in place in their lives to improve their lives to get unstuck from toxic patterns, to heal their physical body or their mental health issues, and then come out to the other side in a brand new way to learn the energetic vibration of their body and how they can work with that, with their thoughts and emotions to heal their body. (gasps) Wow, we're creating, we're healing, healing the planet from within. I don't want to get too excited, okay? But this is just me. I'm a single person. Just a solo woman traveling the world. Currently living in India. 
to connect with the deeper aspects of spirituality that I could not find in the Western world. And while living here in Tiruvannamalai and Tamil Nadu, the sacred energies has supported has supported the creation of this project. Yes, I've been on the journey for a long time. I've only been in India for a couple of years. But, you know, this journey is super fascinating, how it's all come together. I was just, sorry, my silence was just because I was going through, like, all the different things I've experienced in my lifetime. Like, I've lived in a van doing a solo journey, traveling to indigenous Aboriginal Australian, Indigenous Australian places. And, and then, and then, you know, I lived in China for a year teaching ESL English. And it happened because I went to the Philippines and did a one month naturopathy course where people were being healed. Oh my God, that's another podcast. I have to tell you so much about the level of healing that I've learned and the different techniques. And I really, if you seriously know anyone who wants to go on this exploration journey with me in a, for a month, like I want to really explore for a month um, how to heal their physical body in the Greek, in Greece, somewhere in Greece. I don't know where it is yet, but we're going to Greece. Um, I would like you to, you know, get them in contact with me. I, I would like to, if they're open to exploring how to heal the physical body and to learn everything I know, it's going to be amazing. I don't know how many people are coming, but I had this premonition two years ago that I would doing, I would be doing this. And now it's coming. I think it's happening in May and I'm releasing this pod. I'm currently recording this podcast in November. It's going to be released, um, between November and December this year. So, Wow, that's going to be a quick turnaround, I can tell you right now. So anyways, okay, to sum up this podcast, German New Medicine has done a lot of brain scans. Dr. Hammer has really put a lot of effort into putting this knowledge out. So this was his passion. And I believe he made a shift in the mindsets of many people who are now seeking ways to heal their physical body with their emotions. There's a lot more to it than that to heal, to become the healer, uh, have a full integrative healing approach that I believe is effective. I have not worked it entirely on one person yet, but I'm really excited to do this. <laughs> but German New Medicine has, look, I'm grateful. I am so grateful for German New Medicine to Dr. Hammer to go through all that he did to to put this knowledge out into the world so I can link it with other healing modalities. And we have this mindset shift that's like, wow, okay, healing can happen if we work with our emotions. We can see this, right? But how do we do this? How do we get to the deeper core issues that we might be carrying for lifetimes or from the family lineage? How do we do it? Look, I have a lot of techniques that I wanna share with you and I'm gonna share with you as much as I can in this podcast upcoming podcasts. I want you to get excited about this because we're going to go deep into healing and, and you're going to travel with me. You're going to travel with me in this podcast. It's going to be like you're really there to these different places and witnessing. I'm going to explore many, many areas around the world. Um, this is my calling. So I'm excited you're here on this journey. Thank you for listening to my podcast. I apologize if I was rambling a little bit, but I get excited when I'm on this topic. I don't know if you can hear this. I was like, wow, I get this wow in my mind all the time. I get really super excited. So, um, because finally I get to share it with someone. I've had all this bubbling up inside of me. How do I share all this excitement, this knowledge I've discovered? Um, and I even do my own healing process, which you're going to, again, get to witness in my upcoming podcast. So please, if you're just listening to this podcast right now, please go and explore every podcast that I've released because I'm taking you on a journey of mindset shifts before we get to 
doing the techniques and exercises, right? You need the mindset shift. So please listen and encourage all your friends to listen to this podcast, to, to subscribe to the podcast so that they too can benefit from every single episode right? Because it's important. And when you do tell them about my podcast, make sure you tell them that they need to listen to these mindset shifts ones, especially these ones, right? Because then they're going to have that stronger conviction and dedication to do the healing work, to put the tools and techniques in place. We've got so many tools and techniques in the world, but we don't know why we're using them. (laughs) But now, thanks to German New Medicine and other healing modalities, we know why. So, Super exciting to have this mindset shift. Thank you so much for listening to my entire podcast. Please go and subscribe. And right now I'm gonna, just going to pass you on to my outro. It's going to encourage you to describe further. <laughs> Many blessings on your journey. Thank you for listening to my podcast. I am super grateful to have you as part of this community. You are awesome. Before we go... I want to remind you about two exciting things that you don't want to miss out on. First and foremost, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button for the podcast, yeah? By doing so, you'll never miss out on an episode and even stay up to date with upcoming events. (laughs) Trust me, you don't want to miss out on a single moment of what's coming up. But wait, there's also something more. I'd love for you to go over to my YouTube channel and also hit that subscribe button. That way you can enjoy all the fascinating content that's coming up, including when I travel to sacred places around the world and funny behind the scenes moments. Subscribing is super easy, yeah? It takes just one click and would mean the world to me. So go ahead and make sure you're part of this incredible journey, both on my podcast and YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Your support means the world because this is truly my biggest passion in life, healing the planet from within. I look forward to connecting with you on another episode or even in person.